The next one, two, three Excel magic tricks have to do with this data set. And we have weights. And we're interested in if the number is listed consecutively. So we need to deal with those. Here's another one that's consecutive. Here's another one, and so on. Now in this Excel magic trick, we're going to see how to conditionally format the row when there's consecutive numbers. Now there's no built-in feature in Home Conditional Formatting. So let's build a logical formula off to the side, copy it over and down. And when we see the pattern of trues and falses in the right order, then we'll copy that formula and paste it up in the dialog box, where the dialog box allows logical formulas. True, it will apply the formatting. False, it will not. Now, we're going to have to build a formula here from the point of view of that cell, the first date, then copy it over and down. Now we're going to have two conditions, and either one of them can come out true. So we're going to use the OR function. This function will give us a true when one or more logical tests are met, which is exactly what we want. Now I need to reference the number in each row. And I don't want to click inside the table because I don't want table formula nomenclature. So I'm actually going to type the cell reference E10. And we need to check E10 against the cell directly above E9. That's the first logical test. That will catch any consecutive numbers that are the second or third or fourth one, comma. The second logical test, well, we need to look at E10 again and ask if it's equal to the one directly below. And that'll catch the first number in a consecutive sequence. Now, we actually need mixed cell references for all of these cell references. Remember, this formula right here is starting in that cell. And when it's here, it needs to check the E column. And when it's in this E column, it also needs to check the E column. So we'll lock the column reference, but not the row. I'll hit F4 one, two, three times. And I'm going to do that for each cell reference, locking only the column, but not the row. Now we can Control Enter, copy it to the side. We'll copy it down. And sure enough, there's a pattern of trues in the row because we have consecutive numbers. Up here, well, there's our trues, two of them in each row, for our consecutive 400s. Now we go to the top cell, F2, and I'm going to copy this formula in edit mode. Now notice this is the upper left-hand corner that I'm copying, Control-C, Escape. Now I highlight, and the active cell has to be in the upper left corner. And sure enough, it is. And we go to Home, Conditional Formatting, down to New Rule, use a formula, and then Format values where this formula is true, Control-V. And then you can add whatever formatting you want. I'm going to add yellow. Click OK, click OK, and bam, just like that, we have added conditional formatting when the numbers are consecutive. All right, this is about conditional formatting dealing with consecutive numbers. Next video, we'll use Power Query to extract the records. And in the final one, we'll see a crazy formula to count the max consecutive occurrences for each number. All right, we'll see you next video.